Hi, sis. You know, one of the main pleasures of being in Paris is all the visual beauty all around you. The architecture, the, the gardens, the, uh, the fashions, but most of all, the great art. I, I mean, being here and living here somehow makes you feel more... Civilized. <laughs> Everything. We're flying first class. Limo is meeting us at the airport, and we're staying at beautiful suite with a view. Huh? Ah, you have left out the most important thing. Yes, yes. Bathroom has fantastic big mirror. Oh. <laughs> well, where are you guys going? We are flying to Saint Tropez. We have model burnout. Wow, that sounds very relaxing. <laughs> yes, I adore the Riviera. It's so freeing to sunbathe topless. Topless? No, oh Dio, not again. You are going to parade my bosoms in front of other men's eyes? <laughs> Your bosoms? Ma tu sei fuori, ma no! Ma, ma non è possibile! Non è possibile! Are you reading my Paris Vogue? Yeah, I love European fashion magazines. You know, the superior topography, the intriguing design, the... High level of nakedness? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Men are pigs. You think he's bad? You should have met Henry Miller. You knew Henry Miller? Mm -hmm. The guy who wrote all the dirty books? Henry Miller used to come in here? Uh-huh. That was his spot. Henry Miller used to drink here? Henry Miller used to eat here? Mm -mm. You mean he... Mm. Eat you. <laughs> oh, the new Paris Vogue. Let me have. Let me have. <laughs> it's supposed to be scented out for my new perfume. You have a perfume? Yes, Bella. Fabiana, the fragrance. <laughs> Ma cos'è questa schifezza? Questo non è assolutamente il mio profumo. This is not scent I approve. Do you think this smells like Fabiana? Well, how would I know? Eh? <laughs> I kill you. I kill you bad. I kill you two times. Ma è proprio scocciato, ma sei siciliano tu, ma proprio... Ma no, non è possibile. Hello. Hi. Oh, no. Look at this. It's a cigarette ad. I know it's a cigarette ad, but look. They ripped off this great old photograph. We, the lovers in the hood lab. Did you know that was Margaret? What was the girl in the original photograph? Oui, oui. Get out of here, oh. Margaret. This was you. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to believe I was ever that young, that much in love, that thin. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I mean, this is like one of the most famous photographs in the world. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time with the right horny guy. <laughs> Incredible! I, I used to have a print of this picture in my bathroom in Minneapolis. My husband hated it, of course, but I loved it. I used to just stare at it for hours and dream about Paris. You used to sit alone in your bathroom for hours at a time and yet your marriage broke up? Color me stunned. <laughs> now, this is strange. What is it? Huh? Oh, well, you know that uh, picture you like so much, the one with Margaret? Yeah. It says here that two other people are claiming that they were the lovers in the original photo. What? Well, yeah, it's in here, too. It says they're suing over damages for that cigarette ad. Let me see that. He's in French. I know that. Let me see this. <laughs> the photographer's backing up their story. As you Americans say, you could knock me over with your father. <laughs> This is just outrageous. Mm. Margaret, 
Did you see this? There's this ridiculous story in the paper. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> there you go. That settles that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait a minute. Let's get honest here. Is it just me, or does it occur to anybody else that Margaret's told us some pretty wild stories about her life? Uh, yeah. huh? Delivering messages for the resistance? <laughs> yeah. Running guns in the Spanish Civil War? <laughs> she once said that she studied cooking with the great Escoffier. If I get just three words to say about that, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> was supposed to have known a whole lot more famous people than me even what? and i was first lady of a whole country i know hundreds of people and that's not counting my comb out girls <laughs> let me tell you something people this is margaret hunt we're talking about she has known everybody she's done everything i thought she's done everybody and known everything <laughs> either way Margaret has been at the center of every great thing that's happened in Paris in, in the last, what, 50 years. And no two-bit pair of scam artists is gonna make me think any different. Fine. Don't you give me fine. Don't give me a verbal pat on the head. Tell me what you really think. All right. The word naive comes to mind. I don't believe this. Marcel, do you think I'm naive? No, no, no. Well, maybe a little bit, you know? No, it's just that you, you, you're, you're so innocent, so trusting. It's charming. It's uh, an American thing. Really. Yeah, hello. I don't care what you people think. I believe Margaret. And I can tell you one thing. I'm not naive. Yeah, it's Mel Gibson for you. Oh, please. What, are you testing me now? Yeah, Mel Gibson. All right. No, actually, it's Mel Gibson for you. <laughs> Mel? Bellissimo. How are you? No, you're in Paris now, but you... Oh. I kill you, Blue Eyes. <laughs> I kill you two times. Hey, you, model girl talking to some high-powered business advisors about getting a perfume named after me. You? Yeah. <laughs> you let me pick your brain. I'll help you with some investment advice. I know a bank so far offshore, they got a swim-up window. Money, 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 money. Never used to be like that. You think I care whether James Joyce ever paid his bar tab? I told him, Jimmy, Excuse me, <laughs> you, Sea Biscuit. <laughs> Am I boring you? Moi? No, no, no. What was that? Was that a look? No looks. Nobody looks. You out. You, you out. Anybody mind if I reminisce a little in my own joint? Ah, of course not. Your stories are interesting, like any good fiction. <laughs> What the hell is this? You calling me a liar? Well, come on, what about the photograph? That's it! Get out of my cafe! All of you, out, out! Come on, move yourselves! Out, out, I'm talking to you! Oh, 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 oh. Go on, baby! Get out! Move it! What are you still doing here? I work here. Yeah, well, I just gave you the night off. Listen, Margaret. Bunch of deadbeats. <laughs> Come in here every morning, read my papers. Nurse one espresso for half a day. <laughs> I got the stones to question me. <laughs> I know what I did. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Now beat it. I got poultry to dress. Hey, for what it's worth, I believe you. Oh, good. Now I can die. <laughs> Rebecca of Perky Brook Farms believes me. Are you 
You all right? Everyone treats me like some perky little idiot. Oh, no, no. Nobody thinks that you're an idiot. <laughs> Pretty much everyone thinks you're perky, though. That's... Why doesn't anyone believe her? Or maybe it's because it doesn't really matter, huh? Yes, it does matter. It matters a lot. Holly, look. They're great stories, but they're great stories whether they're true or not. What's the difference? There's a big difference. This matters to me. It's important to me. Look, when I said I was going to move here, everybody back home thought I was this naive kid going to live in some, some make-believe world that the Paris I believed in didn't exist anymore. But it does. It's, it's right here, in this place, in its history. But most of all, it's in Margaret. I mean, she knew all those people that I have only read about. The spirit of that Paris is alive and, and well, and it's, and it's in there right now, pulling the head off a quail. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize this meant so much to you. I'll tell you how much it means to me. I don't know how, but I'm going to prove Margaret's not a fraud. I'm going to help you. You will? Yes. And I do this out of a spirit of pure altruism and friendship. I expect nothing in return. Except maybe a visit to a modest but clean hotel for 16 or 17 hours of unbright oh. unchecked. Why do you do this? You always start off so nice and then you reduce everything to sex. Perkiness and sex. Sex and perkiness. You're right. I apologize. Huh? Besides, let me tell you something. 16 hours in a hotel room with me. And I can promise you one thing. I'd perk you to death. <laughs> After a lot of false leads, bum tips, and dead ends, we finally tracked down the photographer who took the original picture. Monsieur Pascal? Oui, oui. Entre. Isn't this great? We're actually... Whoa! <laughs> I see your whoa, and I raise you a humana humana. <laughs> come in, come in. We're just finishing up. Better split up. You take the old guy, I'll see what I can get out of her. <laughs> Put your eyes back in your head. I thought you French people were supposed to be so casual about nudity. We are. Isn't it great? <laughs> Monsieur Pascal? Oh. Hi, I'm Holly Aldridge. Delightful I'm... to meeting you. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't mind us just dropping in like this. Not at all. Delightful. Thanks. I came to talk to you about a certain photo. Say no more. You are a model. Oh! No, don't be silly. Oh, no, yes, you are. Yes, yes, yes. No, you I... certainly must be. Oh, I've never. Oh, without question. The way you move, <laughs> like a beautiful panther. <laughs> <laughs> or a lioness. <laughs> growl for me, tawny one. Oh, I, I don't think... Oh, yes, growl, like this. <sighs> oh, I, I could... <sighs> I must... Oh, the light on your hair is like spun gold. I must photograph you now. <laughs> yes. Well, now, you... the sun should send you a big letter of thanks for what you do for it. <laughs> now, just lean back. Lean back. Put your hand to your chin. Put your hand... Ah. Now, take off your clothes. <laughs> Actually, I came to talk to you about your famous photograph, The Lovers on the Rue de Lap. Oh, my masterpiece. Oh, yes. I take many, many pictures. Some days, the gods smile on you. You are just a vessel for their divine inspiration. A humble craftsman. And from a simple image comes a huge multinational <laughs> ad campaign. <laughs> I've been told the woman in this photograph is Margaret Hunt. Oh, so you have. <laughs> I, I shall never forget the day. Huh. She's so young and comely, the late afternoon sun shining from her hair, a light breeze blowing across her alabaster. Please, take off your clothes. 
Monsieur Pascal, please, this is important to me. So this is Margaret. Yes, yes, yes. She was almost as lovely as you. Look at you, so passionate. Oh. So vibrant, oh. <laughs> Your dancing eyes, your lustrous hair, your smile, <laughs> your ripe red, sensuous lips. Mm. I gotta take a picture of somebody right away, or my head will explode. <laughs> Pardon. Sylvie. Mm. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I work for a very large and influential bottle water concern, and, uh, and we often have need for highly trained naked models such as yourself. I thought you were supposed to help me. You act like you've never seen a naked woman. Oh, you missed the point. I've never seen this naked woman. <laughs> Monsieur Pascal. Not now. I am working. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just please, want to ask you one... Please, please. I'm an artist. I must not lose my focus. Ah, it's Dubernay time! <laughs> it, it, is this the original? Oui. It is! Marcel, Marcel, I have to show you this. Mon chéri, if only I could show you my New York, huh? Fifth Avenue, uh, Central Park, Broadway, and the Great White Whale. <laughs> Marcel, please, I think I found something. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Put the stairway, okay? Sit here. Don't move. <laughs> no, no patchouli. Patchouli too strong for my personal signature scent. I'm a delicate flower. <laughs> now close the deal before I gotta come over there and drive needles through your eyes. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? You'll find out in a minute. Everybody, I want your attention. I would like you all to meet... You know, you are very, very beautiful. Beautiful enough to be, yes, a model. I am model. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because that was just a line. I kill you, old man. <laughs> I kill you two times. <laughs> you kill a world famous photographer? You are a photographer? Huh? Really? Oh. Okay. I thought I told you to stay put. I am an artist. I follow beauty. You remember Margaret? <laughs> Pascal? Of course. Charm. Monsieur Pascal, you took the famous photograph, The Lovers on the Rue de Lap, yes? Uh, absolutely. Aha. Uh -huh. Any questions so far? Yeah, is this one of those experimental theater kind of things? We're going to have to get up and follow you into another room? <laughs> Isn't it true mm -hmm. that this photograph was actually taken on the Rue Mazarine, mm -hmm. as you can clearly see from this... <laughs> oh, sorry. This. This is the original uncropped image of the photograph in question. As you can see, it clearly shows a street sign for the Rue Mazarine. Mm, the day I printed that image, I had probably a teeny Dubonnet or two. <laughs> I grew tired, so I decided to, how do you say it, black out on the floor. <laughs> Fortunately, the enlarger broke my fault. But uh, the image got cropped. Uh, people seem to like it, so I... For it... years, <laughs> the street in the photograph was misidentified as the Rudel Lap. But Margaret never corrected anyone. Why? I'll tell you why. It was to protect your lover, who was a married man living on the Rue Mazarine with his wife and three children. <laughs> Baloney. Prove it. Okay. Marcel? Marcel! <laughs> Believe me, I'm doing my best. Oh. When we discovered that a photograph was actually taken in the Rue Mazarin, we went there and had the good fortune to find Monsieur Cloquet, still living, uh, in number seven. <laughs> When we told him about uh, our predicament, he was kind enough to join us here 
today. This is true. Margaret lied all these years to protect me, a married man with children. But I can live a lie no longer. But Francois, what about? It's okay, my little one. The kids are dead. <laughs> yes, it was Margaret in the photograph with me. My young, beautiful Margaret. <laughs> and he was much older than me even then. Okay. <laughs> Magnifique. I must immortalize this moment with a photograph. <laughs> come, come, come. Come here a minute. This is the kind of thing that's very hard for me to say. I don't say it very well and I don't say it very often. In fact, the hell with it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Delightful. We are getting ready. I am working. All right, all right. Let us see. Uh, everybody, all right, look at the camera. We all right now. Everybody, take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for helping me out. No, it was nothing. You know, I was very impressed by the way you stood by Margaret. Yeah, well, I just feel loyalty is very important. Absolutely. You seem to, to stick by people through fat and thin, no matter what. <laughs> if a friend were in trouble, you would be there. If a friend needed your help, you would be there. If a friend were to exploit your gratitude by making a skillful pass at an emotional moment, you would... Never speak to him again. <laughs> you, you wouldn't respect me if I quit trying. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Margaret! I tell you what, I'll come to you. <laughs> I just wanted to say good night. Well, now you know where the joint is. Don't be a stranger. Oh, actually, I have a small confession. I have stopped in a few times over the years to have a beer and a look at you. I don't remember seeing you in here. How did you know it was me? Uh, it's always been you. So, I'm just back from Ibiza, and uh, Salvador Dali and Marcel Duchamp pick me up at the airport and drive me home. <laughs> and I walk in, and it's a disaster area. Mm. The chairs are glued to the ceiling. <laughs> the food is in the dresser. My rugs are in the bathtub. And that's when I learned a valuable lesson. Never sublet your apartment to a surrealist. <laughs> <laughs> 